Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the best photo gallery delivery service for photographers in 2023. And we are going to be comparing CloudSpot and Pixie Set. There are quite a few amazing options, but these are the two that I get asked about most frequently because CloudSpot is the platform that I use and love. So let's put them up against each other because I actually have never looked into Pixie Set or used it as an option for myself. So we are gonna do a compare and contrast together. My name is Hope and I am a senior portrait and wedding photographer serving both Charleston and Savannah. This YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country with two fur babies, Boone and Boots. And I really appreciate you tuning in today. Like I mentioned, we are going to be comparing CloudSpot and Pixie Set, two of the best gallery delivery services for photographers in 2023. As you guys know, I use and love CloudSpot, but I actually have never looked into Pixie Set. I've never made an account. Um, it has just never been one that I felt like I needed in my business and CloudSpot has always been my go-to, but I have never put them up against each other to show you guys a comparison between the features that they both offer. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I actually made a free Pixie Set account so that I can show you guys exactly what each platform looks like and highlight some of the differences in their features so that you can decide which is the best for you to use in your business in 2023. So let's dive right in. The first thing that we're going to talk about, which is probably one of the most important when you're considering which gallery delivery service to use, and that is pricing. So I have both pricing pages pulled up here. Let's look at CloudSpot first. So I think it's important to highlight the free plan on both of these platforms, because if you are somebody who has never used one of these platforms before, obviously your first step is going to be to create a free account to test it out. So the free plan with CloudSpot includes 10 gigabytes of free storage storage, which is about 2000 photos. Um, the free account with Pixie set only includes three gigabytes of storage. So you're definitely very limited with the free account with Pixie set. You'll only be able to use it for like one or two galleries before you need to upgrade to a paid plan. Um, the max price is also worth mentioning. The max price for Pixie sets ultimate and unlimited number of photos package is $40. Whereas for CloudSpot, it is 34. So I do use the CloudSpot unlimited package and it obviously covers everything I could possibly need. It includes unlimited storage, unlimited galleries, all of those things. Um, the ultimate package, with Pixie Set it also includes video uploads for five hours, it looks like, and unlimited galleries. Um, and it includes all of their store and mobile gallery features. So they both include comparable features. Um, it's just a little bit of a higher price point with Pixie Set, which I don't think is a huge turnoff. Um, I think it's very minuscule, the difference in the pricing. So not a big deal there. So let's go ahead and log into both accounts and see what the platform itself looks like on the back end. Um, I'm huge in being really, really user friendly both for myself and for my clients. I also really like workflows that feel streamlined and automated and don't require me to take a ton of time to upload and deliver a gallery efficiently. I like it to be quick and automated as possible. So here is what the dashboard looks like when you log into both accounts. So my CloudSpot dashboard looks like this. Obviously I have galleries in CloudSpot. Um, so immediately I'm seeing all of my collections here. I'm seeing the store tab, the contacts tab, the studio that's coming soon. Um, and all of my little keywords here that categorize my work. So that's what the login page looks like for there. Um, here's what the Pixie Set dashboard looks like. So client galleries, website, store, studio manager, mobile gallery app. So off the bat, it seems like Pixie Set might have a little bit more capability in terms of studio manager and um, in terms of, let's see, website, I guess, would be the two features that Pixie Set has that um, CloudSpot doesn't. I use third-party programs for those two things. Um, I use HoneyBook as my studio manager and I use Show It for my website. So those two features wouldn't be a deal breaker for me, but if you're somebody that's looking for an all-inclusive platform, then it sounds like Pixie Set might be a better option in that case as of right now because CloudSpot Studio is coming soon. So let's go ahead and create a collection in Pixie Set because I actually have not done this yet. So let's do this together. Um, let's say Grayson's Senior Session. We'll just say it's tomorrow. We'll 
we'll use the pixie set defaults let's see okay add photos um upload speeds are for me one of the things that i really really love about cloudspot um a feature that i know cloudspot has that pixie set doesn't is that when i upload a gallery in cloudspot which we will do now to compare um they can upload in the background so i can actually just minimize this window and do other things on my computer and in this gallery while they're uploading so like i can go and upload my cover image i can publish this and start setting all the settings i can do other things to this gallery while the images are uploading and you can see how fast that is let's see how these are going here so looks like um we are about the same speed i would say we're on like in the 80s here we're in the 60s here so i would say since i started this one later they're about the same upload speed which obviously has more to do with my internet than anything um but it is important to note that i can't really do much else on this page in pixie set while they're uploading so i just tried to add the cover photo and i was going to have to stop the upload in order to do that so that's something that i enjoy because i mentioned i really like the streamlined process um, of getting to do things as quick as possible and not taking a ton of time to wait for the uploads to happen so things you can do while uploading continue in a new tab okay so yeah i can't do anything in this window while they're uploading um okay let's manage this collection in pixie set so looks like i can rearrange the order here maybe Yep. Okay, cool. So I can rearrange the order there. Let's clear the selection. Let's change the cover photo. Okay. Looks like here are my design options here. So looks like I have some font options, a background option, some grid sizing, and some different options for the cover. So I would say that's pretty comparable with um, cloud spots design options let's look at this i do personally like this menu a little bit better in cloud spot i feel like it's a little bit more user friendly um, and it has a different section for each of these options so that i can clearly kind of navigate what it is that i'm wanting to change still both have very comparable features so um design privacy you can set okay so they do have a little menu you can click through awesome okay so fairly comparable let's look a preview of this gallery here Awesome. So I would say that looks very, very similar. I do have a preset for my CloudSpot galleries. So let's go ahead and publish this one. Okay. Yeah. So here's the CloudSpot gallery. Here is the Pixie set gallery. So you can customize what this top part looks like here, but I would say that the galleries themselves are both very comparable. Um, let's look at what happens when you click on an individual photo. So in the CloudSpot gallery, they have very clear buttons here that say favorite, download, slideshow, share, and buy. Um, in Pixie set, they just have these little icons up in the top right. Um, so not quite as user-friendly and easy to understand, but still same buttons, same features um let's look at the buy photo option because i love cloud spots store but i want to see what pixie sets looks like so here's cloud spots this is what their store looks like so i have always loved that you can kind of see a visual of what the print and product will look like in these really cute mock-ups um you can look at all the different options here and it kind of shows you the photos in each of those different products which i just think is really user friendly and looks really cool um let's look here for pixie set looks like they do the same thing that's awesome so same very very similar um checkout process that allows you to be super user friendly here in terms of selecting size say glossy oh awesome yeah and you can adjust the crop layer it says okay by print perfect and then it takes me to adjust the crop okay super super comparable to cloud spot very very similar so that's awesome so one of the features that i know that cloud spot has that pixie set does not is full analytics so you can go here to the notifications tab and see who has looked at what photos who's downloaded what photos and you can also do the same thing for an individual gallery where i can go to the back end of this gallery go to analytics and see full analytics for this gallery so i can see the number of images downloaded who has seen it, the storage, the favorites. And this makes the album delivery process with my brides super easy because they can select their favorites. Then I can just download those and upload them to design their album, which makes my life incredibly easy. To my understanding, Pixie Set doesn't have something quite as comparable. Um, it looks like, let's see here, if they have an analytics tab at all. You can add video here, settings, activities. Okay, so you can look at download activities, 
favorite activities, but not quite as many um, options in terms of analytics. So that's really, really good to know. Um, it's pretty comparable, but not quite the same level of intense analytics as CloudSpot. So if you're a photographer that is currently using a different program and you want to switch, gallery migration might be something that you are worried about. Like, how do I take all of these galleries from this existing platform I've been using to this new platform that I want to switch to? And PixieSet does not offer gallery migration. CloudSpot does offer gallery migration free for 75 galleries and then a dollar per gallery after that. So if you're a photographer that's established with the current gallery software, but you want to switch, CloudSpot would be the better option because they will migrate all of those galleries for you, which is an awesome feature and makes it very easy to switch to something new. And then the last feature and the difference that's kind of worth mentioning is that CloudSpot allows for unlimited galleries within one collection. So if you want to create multiple different galleries from the same collection of images, maybe you want to create a gallery for getting ready and then a gallery for portraits and then a gallery for the first look, you can do all of that within one gallery. You can also do that with the mobile app. So if you want to create a mobile app version of the gallery for your clients, you can do that with the same gallery or collection inside of CloudSpot. Inside Pixie Set, you have to upload a new set of images each time you want to do that. So if you want to create a new gallery of photos or a mobile app, you have to upload a completely separate gallery, which means that you are double or tripling the amount of storage that you're using up if you do want to create multiple galleries or mobile apps per collection. So that's important to note if you're somebody that does that. I'm not. So that wouldn't really affect my back end, but it is something that's worth mentioning. So in conclusion, I would say that Pixie Set and CloudSpot are incredibly comparable. I would say that if you're a photographer with an established platform right now and you want to migrate over, the migration feature alone would make CloudSpot the option that I would lean towards. If you are somebody that's looking for more of a platform that is all inclusive and has client management features as well as website features, then Pixie Set might be the better option for you. So I hope this was helpful just to kind of see a comparison and a contrast. If you are looking for something cheaper or you want to create a free account, you can do free accounts on both. The max price for CloudSpot will be a little bit cheaper. I am an affiliate for CloudSpot. I absolutely love them and I used them for a year before I was ever an affiliate for them, but I'm going to link my affiliate link down below and you can actually sign up for 50% off using that link if you're somebody that has decided that you want to lean towards CloudSpot. So I hope this video was insightful and just cool to see a comparison. They are more similar than I even thought, so you really can't go wrong with either. But I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. I share new videos every single week and would be so grateful to have you. And until next time, bye.